built an empire of New York City all having a post-traumatic numbers disorder. I mean, look at Zamba last weekend at, oh my God. <laughs> at Collision. I mean, regardless, though, welcome to Loser's Quarters here. So Loser here will be getting fifth. The winner will be going on to fight the winner of our next set here. Already, Solars is like, I am not here to play. We're going to play a little bit more aggressive. Now, remember, John Number's first set here in top eight was Pelka. It's a little... A little bit more laid back, but now you've got Solar, somebody who's trying to approach you. Yeah, and finding that lingering hit of that up till at ledge, find the juggle, manage to find the berry, read the mash out with that up smash. Numbers just playing chess when everyone else playing checkers right now, Lyric. And I mean, it just as much as Solar's trying to keep the pressure on, finding that up smash or that finding the kill there, he's just it feels like. It's just really the smash arts coming in rather than him actually kind of consistently winning these neutral interactions. Soul arts though, finding a little bit of mileage off of the missed tech here. I mean, it's so even right now. You can barely even tell who's really in the lead in terms of momentum. There's a Naren to dash attack here. It's not going to be much else. I'm loving the way that Soul arts is spacing. Good shield players, they know how to sh space the Monado here as John Numbers narrowly escapes around. Deep breathing and sun salutation are about to be online. Just going to grab Soul Solar saying, so you know what, where are you going? You're going back over there. Yep, and I love just the up throw up air, right? You just take some damage, take that stage control, so force Shulk to try and land against you, maybe burn those arts out. Numbers trying to stall it all the way out and utilize the very flexible drift on that hula hoop up B. He, he just, just kind of weave around, force that down air commitment out before finding his way back to stage. Numbers is playing off stage beautifully, and as you said, this is why you cannot go off against this man. Absolutely not. There we go. John looking for the grab in the corner, but it will be Solarts finding the F tilt here. Smash Art is online, so we're just looking for a space aerial, maybe even another up tilt like we saw for stock here. There's the up B out of shield, though, so now John going to have a little bit more of an advantage right now. The punish on the up smash will just be the forward smash here as John 112, but how long how long can you live versus a Shulk and Smash Art? I mean, if you're getting all these beautiful John. shield angling on as numbers was, just a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter how good your shimmy is because eventually that sword is just going to catch you seven ways to Sunday Lyric. He takes the stock and the scrap situation's on, but at 54% down, down, it doesn't matter that Soul Arts has that stage control. Numbers wants to be in this corner. That being said, this buster could be an opening. No, nah, that, that reverse up air coming out from Soul Arts was so actually good. nasty. That was actually some good stuff here. I've never seen him do it before, too. And, like, this man cooks like nobody's business. He is playing so on point. The speed are carrying you coast to coast, looking to close it out with a smash art, but instead getting caught in that landing lag from the down air, missing the auto cancel window into Ooh. that salute the sun. Finding his way back, but Lyric, he's kind of burned the advantage he had there just for a second. I actually really like that uh, backslash coming out from Soul Arts as well. That essentially can tell a lot of zoners, you know what? Actually, you're not set up. Actually forcing John to go back into the corner here. John, though, going to get hit by the back air here, and now Soul Arts ready to go with the slash. Unfortunately, Fell falls out. out. No way. You cannot lose off of this. Would be the ultimate misfortune, as honestly. Oh all falling apart for Soul Arts there. Had the first hit and then John Numbers falling out. It's I'm rigged. Gonna, I don't know I'm what to tell say, you. Hey, first of all, that was plot armor if I've ever seen it. Second of all, this is what happens when Mars isn't at CT GamerCon, is that someone else's up B doesn't work, right? Someone else just falls out of an up B, and that's unfortunately going to be catching the Soul, Ar Soul Arts catching the short end of the stick on that one lyric. and. Going down 1-0 in a game in a game he felt like maybe he could win. It's going to be a test on his mental. How do you recover from that? How do you keep it saying, okay, it doesn't matter if I should have won. I am what my record says I am, and I am down 1-0 right now. How do I bring this one back? The thing is, John already getting ideal conditions, getting set up here. There's the Nair into the F smash there, coming out from Soul Arts, still finding a lot of Nairs here. I'm loving the way that Soul Arts is just threatening off stage, right? So you know what? I could hit this down air. It does not matter, but here comes Soul Arts. Just trying to get something started with the smash, but still just not happening. John Numbers has been a lot more creative this set with finding his way out of the corner, whether it be dash attack, whether it be header. And honestly, Soul Arts is not picking up on it just yet. And he's mixing up these header timings, right? We're seeing the header cancels or just the early headers come out to call out these attempts to land on platform and call out the jump above the platform as well from Numbers, really forcing you to play grounded against him where he gets to control that space with those salute the suns, with those long form 
platform headers to just really keep you ooh, trying to play grounded, get you in the juggles, and just make you very uncomfortable, right? The awkward hitboxes of WeFit playing to full effect right now, and nobody's better at abusing those than numbers. Ew, all right, some weird interactions off the stage. Got Devin raising his hands in the air. That's how you know it's really messed up. <laughs> it was a sour spot downer, and it was untackable. That was absolutely crazy, right? Speaking of weird WeFit hitboxes. Ooh, okay. Honestly, the air slash actually kind of helped John there, too. Did not have to mash as hard. The ball's still active, so that's going to allow for John to get some hits in. Just going to try and bait out the counter two. So now here comes Solarts, finds the Nair. Can't find the forward air as well. I'm very surprised that he's so willing to stick on Smash here, especially knowing how strong Wii Fit is with Rage as well. Gotta watch that shield though, John, as Solarts finally gonna be able to find the back air here. Lining up, John numbers with deep breathing, ready to go. And I feel like Solarts needs to start mixing it up off the ledge. I feel like it's very predictable now that we can find a lot of this, like, fast fall back air here and John is ready for it now and John is you know he's starting to get hit right he's getting hit by these back airs but he, that first back air he got hit by right he still was able to wait out the smash heart give himself that breathing room to hold on find a little bit extra chip damage still ends up losing his stock there but now with an 81 percent lead deep breathing and a salute the sun at partial charge lyric he wins stage control, gets that neutral win, and now just has so many tools to control space. Soul Arts has to be scared right now and is going to have to use these arts unofficially just to get in. Yeah, I'm loving the way now we have condition for a grab here. Shield Art, though, is going to make this stop last a little bit longer. I love the attempt for a pivot grab there. Unfortunately, though, Shulk's not that great. John threatening off stage, but it will just be the air slash that does help Soul Arts get back onto stage here. Yep, here I, comes John, though, so scary. I was going to say, I love the B reverse, too, on that air slot, as you said, right, to find his way back. Because Numbers looking for a back air, trying to find a stage spike, and Solar's just not letting him have it, knowing that those magnet hands are gonna let him snap back. That being said, salute the sun, that being that charge shot still gonna cover you, give you a little bit of percent back with Wii Fit's healing X Factor. Oh, and gonna miss, but the tech no. Solar's saving numbers, and oh no, Lyric. That's worst case scenario, right? You had the SD, and John recognizing, you know what, if you're gonna come all the way out there, all I have to do is hit the tech, and honestly, not high enough to get it untechable either. Solar's going into jump now, has to figure out something as John just gonna do push-ups in the center of the stage. Oh. There's the down throw as now Solar's in such a precarious situation here. Finally finds the back air here, but John getting warmed up with the sun salutation. We still have uh, Smash Art active as well, so that could be really, really troubling too, but just gonna throw it away. So you know what, I let it recharge. And John has loved, to, every time he's gone to let, he has predominantly favored roll off ledge so far in this set. But Solar just has still never been able to properly cover him for it because he's mixing in those jumps, because he's willing to drop off and just soccer ball you. If you try and cover roll and you're wrong, wrong if you try to make that guess, then Numbers is just gonna punish you, find a whole adva reversal advantage state off of it. So he's just conditioning Solar to give it him what might normally isn't a great off out of ledge option and as just kind of a get out of jail free card. Yep. Go Solarts though, so scary. There's the down tilt. So now we're getting a little bit more cooking here. We saw at last stock, Solarts willing to go off ledge there. Once again, the golden rule, you don't go off stage versus John Numbers. Loving just the simple tech there, but the back air is looking so strong from John. No deep breathing, so not another one will do it, but here comes John just looking to get the down air. We'll be able to find it. John Numbers going up 2-0. As Solarts says, let's just take it back to small bottle. And what's crazy is that's the same situation situation that we had that weird kind of reaction to earlier on here you're right numbers there's there's it doesn't bury but once again he's going off with this down air and because he's slight you're slightly behind him it's gonna send that sour spot send you behind him this one unlike the first one not untackable but solar's still not ready for it even though he saw it come out before and that just maybe lack of character familiarity right long island and, and the city not necessarily playing each other a ton other than a select few folks means that, unfortunately, right, this one's going to be 2-0 in numbers favor right now. Still, John lined up now with the deep breathing. My goodness, couple tilts into the down tilt. You can only imagine what would have happened there if John had kind of full potential here. Still just lining up for the deep breathing. We'll be able to get it here. As Solarts does have at least the stage to work with right now, but still John just going to prioritize getting a little bit caught up here on the edge guard. As honestly, it's so scary for Solarts. I mean, I, I feel like John has now read 
everything that you wanted to do, getting a lot more damage off of these conversions, and unfortunately not grappling onto the ledge means that that stock's gone, and you're already down too well in the set. Yeah, and this has been a great run from Soul Art so far. He's trying to hold on, managing to find maybe a quick stock. No, somehow numbers just barely surviving. The soccer ball combo into the hula hoop too, gonna give him one more lease on life. Soul Art trying to go all the way out there to close us out with the edge guard, but still just not able to find it. And with so many arts down, this is a perfect opportunity for Umbers to come back and just build this lead further. Absolutely. Solar so lining up with the back air here. Now John stuck on the ledge. I love the roll in. You know what? Saying, I don't really feel too comfortable right now, but Solar had Smash recognizing that the opportunity just wasn't there. I mean, the deep breathing too adds another level to that, right? Like, we Fit's already strong, and then you're putting yourself also at a potential disadvantage. It's very good, but there's the first hit of Nair into the forward air. Got Smash back online as now John Numbers has deep breathing, but only for a moment. Solar finally going to be able to get rid of that first yeah, stop. And he was able to capitalize on, on it with only really taking about 20 more percent than he had the first time. Managing to survive so long, he got to use all his arts once again. That being said, once he did, he's just taken a whole bunch more percent on his own, trying to rack it up, trying to keep this one close. But numbers, even though he, after losing that stock, is managing to just whack on this damage, keep building this lead so slightly. And if he can take this stock soon, Lyric, it's going to be very hard for Solar to come back into this so one. So scary, too. The jump art going all the way low here. There's the back throw from John. Is John going to be able to hit the header? It's not going to be enough to get a spike, but it is going to be enough for Solar to at least regain stage control right here. There's the Nair. Look for the forward air. John recognizing. Oh, but my goodness, Solar. I mean, I understand, right? You have to make something happen. You have to throw John off of his momentum. With WeFit being a character that can really control the tempo of the game, you really have to try and find yourself in, but there's the back throw. It's not going to be enough at 204 as we got Shulk with Shield Art. Yeah, the crazy thing is he didn't even switch into Shield Art until after that back throw. It just didn't kill from center stage at 190, which is insane, right? But there's a reason we fit kind of considered to have the worst grab in Smash. As it just doesn't really function so much of the time. Smash Art not going to find its mark. Arc, so instead, Solar is opting to reset that timer a little sooner, find a grab, keep it going, maybe try and find a way back in, and is slowly clawing this one back because John himself weirdly cannot find the stock at 210. Yeah. You're starting to get into that danger zone here. You burn the air dodge as well. That's going to be an easy punish for Solarts here. Aww. Once again, Shulk, one of the characters that can really punish you off stage. Both of these characters can. But now this is going to be the first time we're seeing Solarts at least in the lead for 13%. I was going to say, and if you're a Solarts, you're okay with that, right? You managed to bring that whole stock back from pretty much nothing at over 200% against a character that has a billion raw hit kill options, especially with deep breathing lyrics. So, you know, you're pretty okay with that, right? You've still got a slight lead going. You get to maintain stage control, flip the script on numbers. who has got very comfortable to playing with the lead and now has to bring it back just a little bit. He's in a good situation if he can just keep playing patient, keep not, you know, not get over aggressive in the chance in, in recognizing that he wants to get on the board. He has a very good chance to do so and send us to a game number four. Honestly, now Solart's looking a lot better than they were in the beginning of this set too. We're seeing a lot more of these like grabs from Shulk too. Where I'm seeing a little bit more fluidity in the gameplay. John, though, just a little bit, a little bit intimidated on the st on the ledge there. So now we're going back into center stage. Is now honestly, John Number is still rocking with this one stock. There's the Nair. Is now Solar's trying to line up for a down air, but John Number's going to be able to find it up there. Yeah, he's using that hurt box shifting the up air, right? Just to kind of weave around the down air, air right, catch you in the side, just put you just a little bit in an uncomfortable old position, and again making use of these very weird hurt boxes that Weave it throws out. Numbers utilizing the, the fact that Soccer Ball stalls your vertical momentum, right? Increases the horizontal one to just completely reset, find his way back all the way deep, but finally. It's going to be Solar. It's calling out the Volt in. First time all set. We talked earlier about how he was getting away with him the whole time. This time, Solar's ready, and it's going to send us to a game four. The first time, man. I mean, in both winner semis and uh, 
for both winter semis, we saw three O's, right? I, I feel like Soul Arts is fighting so hard to take this momentum back. We were talking about this back air just a little bit earlier, but now we're seeing it come into fruition. Once again, I feel like we're seeing a little bit more of a confident Soul Arts here. We're seeing a lot more of these grabs. I feel like a lot more of the times we see players when they're like, oh, I know you're going to be here. Let me just grab you. Let me just throw you off your game here as we find Fastfall Nair into the uh, F-Tilt 2. But now here comes John just waiting for the air dodge as well. John seems to be catching on very well. Yep, and that that being said, right, as, as this is looking very much like the way we saw that last game start as well, which Solar was able to bring back. We saw him getting antsy a little bit earlier on, but being able to hold on, bring a game back like that, especially living at 210 so long, can be the perfect reset your mental needs. So can Solar continue to play patient, continue to execute in the way he really started to in game number three, find these call outs on numbers, or is it going to be numbers managing to lock things down and prevent a game number five? That's certainly the start if you want it, Lyric. Yeah, that one's got to hurt if you are Solar. It's getting so scary, too. Getting so desperate for the Air Slash to connect. I don't blame them, but once again, you're in Smash Art here. It's getting a little bit nervous on the ledge. There is the grab, though. John, great mash out here. No tech. It doesn't seem to matter, but you got to watch that, right? I mean, you're playing against Wii Fit, who has so many options off oh, the ledge. No. And finally, for the first time, this set and probably the first time this top eight we're gonna see the sweet spot down air coming out from solar yes we are and you mentioned that he missed that tech we really haven't seen solar hit one all set but he's had multiple opportunities and, and has dropped all of them so kind of something to keep an eye on because that's a very unusual thing to see this late on in bracket to happen so consistently he, he's able to keep some pressure on on numbers on the ledge for a moment but numbers able to get away kind of flip the corners you utilize it instead of being in disadvantage and just charge up that salute the sun find this deep breathing and get his resources back and just try and fight this onslaught of a disjoint that is full. Good parry from Solarts. It's going to keep him in advantage here. John Numbers, though, now going to be able to get the forward throw with the Smash Art as well. Good on Solarts just to try and find a way out of there. I think getting grounded right now would be the worst possible scenario here. Solarts just going to back up and try and win it in neutral again. This first hit of up air is going to connect, not the second, though. So here comes John Header, but there's the grounding, but can't find the mash out punish here as John's still an advantage and still going to find that stop. At that time, he finds a sweet spot, and that, that punish was missed on the mash out because that's the downside of Wee Efit having really awkward hurt boxes, right? And sometimes if you get the perfect DI, she kind of just shifts away from where she actually wants to, wants to be, right? Just kind of gets away from hitting you. That being said, numbers with that full salute, the sun able to just wait out that smash art, find some extra chip damage for it, and just start to build a lead here. here this is where Solar really needs to really needs to close it out. He loves those uh, up smashes at ledge. It's one of his favorite things to do, but numbers has not been falling for them, and they've been really biting him in the butt a little bit. I, I gotta talk about that last interaction from, from John coming back up. Honestly, John just waited it out all the way, like you're seeing now, like not trying to fight it, saying, you know what, I'll throw a couple of my projectiles, and we fits pretty quick. I could just, you know, run oh, to the other no. side of the stage, but I hate to see sets end in an SD, and unfortunately, that will be Solarts going out at fifth here at CT GamerCon. Not what you want to see if you are Long Island, but honestly, shout outs to Solarts for being both beating both Ling, Yoda Cage, and Unleash as well. That's a really good if run. If you don't know Unleashed because you're not from New England, and this man, Massachusetts PR, I believe.